Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with uh, another double header break. A full case of hobby, a full case of jumbo of the brand new, yet to be released 2021 Topps Series 1 Baseball. Big thanks to Topps and the uh, Series 1 Rip Party. We get to break these a night earlier in the uh, during the after hours. So thanks for joining us for the after hours. A lot of stuff right here. All vet base will be shipped, but they're just going to be randomly distributed evenly as possible between the 30 spots. Basically, we'll just set them all out and kind of eyeball and make sure they all are all the same height. And then every team will get a stack of random veteran common cards. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. This is for uh, doubleheader number two. Thanks, everybody. There's all the teams right here in doubleheader number two. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a four, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a four, right? So yeah, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, Daniel down to Lloyd Corbett. Ryan H., what's going on? No, we actually started at six o'clock Pacific, so this is not not uh, not long yet. It's gonna, it's gonna be though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start ripping. Your camera's right up there. Nine times for the teams. One. We got Sean Jaspi right behind my shoulder. He's gonna be ripping these open so we can get a head start on this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just set, it, set that aside. Yeah, I'm going to set it back here. Set it in the back, and we can just open up a and ninth and final time. We'll do the hobby first. Mets down to Yankees after nine. Oh, you heard the guitar playing. Wait, oh, you were on Instagram. Okay, well, I was like, where'd you hear it? It's like, oh, so I was serenading Jason Jaspi. All right, so uh, Daniel. <laughs> You're welcome, Tristan. Thank you for uh, for hanging out with us, too. Daniel with the Mets, Yancey with the Phillies, Andrew with the Padres, John with the White Sox, Michael with the A's, Mark with the Marlins, Jonathan with the Cardinals, Spiro with the Brewers, Roy with the Reds, Ross with the uh, Tigers, Wes with the Angels, Corey with the Mariners, Mary Lou with the Cubs, Brian with the Rangers, Ryan with the Giants, Matt with the Braves, Yancey with the Astros, Ray Allen with the uh, Blue Jays, Yancey with the Twins, Capolo with the... Uh, Royals, Yancey with the Indians, Andrew with the Diamondbacks, Ross with the Nats, Michael with the O's, Anthony with the Rocks, Ryan with the Dodgers, Curtis with the Rays, Steven with the Pirates, I Capola with the Boston Red Sox, and Loy with the New York Yankees. Let's sort this. Uh, let's get all this on one screen, sorted by column B. Any trades? We've got Astros up for trade. Correct, Rex. Uh, the jumbo pick your teams, I think, are all cards shit. But only the double headers is where we do the, ran the, the equal stacks. But if you pick your team, then you'll get, uh, you'll get everything. All right. Oh, and just for a raise up for trade as well. No, Yancey takes back the Astros. Rangers are up for trade. Hollywood, we, we don't do selling of teams. I mean, I guess we could, but we, we, we'd send them to Mary Lou first, and then you, then you guys would complete the transaction. We, can't just, we just can't be the middleman for that sort of stuff. Sports Card Bandit, who is Ryan, would, uh, Keating would maybe entertain a Giants trade. Pirates up for trade as well. Don't forget the checklist and the variations, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, this is a brand new rookie class. We'll give it a few moments. Maybe up until the, fir up until the first box. What's up, Jack? Right. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm all the boxes. 
No, no trades. Everyone's thinking. Everyone's looking at the checklists. We got a long. We got a long night, folks. Can't can't hold this trade window too long. Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. All right, TWC means trade window close. Let's print this baby out and let's rip. All right, and pass on the pirates anyway. Okay. For those of you just joining us, um, there will be a recap at the end. We'll do an autograph relic and maybe low, lower numbered cards, like 25 or less or something like that. Lower numbered cards at the end. Thanks, Hop, for this nice little breaking mat right here, too. Pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. Got the silver packs. And here's half case right here. And half case right there. Correct, David. Yeah, I screwed up and I forgot to do the giveaway and the double header video all at once. So obviously the double header video is going to load up much later because it's uh, over two hours long. So, so with the break video itself with the recap at the end will... Uh, will be loaded up. I think it's, let's see where it's at. It's, so it's already uploaded. It's processing. It's the processing part that takes a while. So if you're looking for double header number one, still loading, give it a, probably another 20, 30 minutes before that happens. These are facsimile autographs. Home run challenge cards. A couple of the big names we should be looking for, I'll, I'll tell you as we go. I mean, any one of these could be big names, right? If you, if you think about it. But I think early on, you know, I mean, who knows what David Peterson's going to do by the end of the season, you know. So, but I just pulled that, uh, obviously, Joe Adele I pulled for the Angels. He's a big prospect. You know, Kiebert Ruiz could be a big name for the Dodgers. You know, Orioles fans really like what Ryan Mountcastle could do. You know, that's a, that's a possibility. You know, Leody Tavares could be a guy. But I think guys like Ryan Mountcastle, Joe Adele, Alec Baum are like the guys that that uh, have the early start on, you know, I think they're higher ranked prospects just off the top of my head. I think prospect ranking wise are a lot higher. The Shogo Akiyama. We'll get all those sleeved and top loaded after Sean rips open all the boxes for us. In the interest, it might save us a little bit of time just on the video itself. <laughs> How did Nick get out of this? Well, Nick went, uh, Joey Bart's a big name too, Dylan Carlson as well. Nick did the million card rip party uh, in Dallas last year, and he broke a lot more cases than Sean and I are gonna have to do tonight, so. I think Nick, Nick, Nick got out of it by doing the million card rip party last year. He only went there so he could take it up. Upper Decker and Jerry Jones. <laughs> yeah, Chris Levin saying, listen, Al Alec Baum's going to be a star. He was a uh, rookie of the year finalist last year. Um, but he didn't have his rookie cards until obviously now, Series 1. You know, so I mean, and at the end of the day, we're at, you know, this could be anybody, right? 
I mean, it's going to be good, though. I hope so. I mean, that's good for the hobby. If Joe Adele breaks out, that would be definitely good for the hobby. Uh, what, what should we do with that Tops card? There was a Tops patch? No, it wasn't a patch. It was just a... Did I already tuck that away? I was kind of thinking about that too. We'll have to randomize that to someone in the group. Maybe it's in the previous deck. Yeah, it might be in the previous deck. Well, what that that tops card, that non-team card, will give away to whoever is third on the list after after the giveaway. Did we see any in the first case? I don't remember any in the first case. There is a get up. Stars celebrate for the Mets. Oh, yeah, I should show you this final printout right here. Daniel Graham with that card right there. And obviously, all the rookie cards will be sorted out and shipped to you. I'll try to, for the somewhat bigger names, I'll try to catch as many of those as as possible for uh, for sleeving and top loading and all that fun stuff. There's a lot of uh, oh, common, common names in this that I'm wondering, are they sons or family members? I thought of Brayu rookie and a Tejada rookie. And there's Nick Madrigal. Oh, wow. All right, silver pack. Silver because it's silver on the back. Silver pack. Half a hobby box. Other half of the hobby box. Another half of the hobby box. And another. All right. Good luck. No, all good, Brian Woodard. All good. And in fact, in doubleheader number one, once I'll go through that video again, the third name down will get any uh, will get any of those non-team cards just to cover our bases. Separate the numbered cards and the relics right on, right on top okay. of each other, and these are like rookies. just rookies, yeah. yeah. And that's a variation right there, Luis Robert. Nice. Oh. So the cards that are flipped around like this, like you saw, but obviously not numbered, and you can see there's the. Is that 230? Actually, it says 231. So that is a super short. Print. That's a super short print. Wow. Yeah. John Hyanga with the White Sox. Thankfully, all all the variations are turned around like this, and then you'll be able to look at those tiny little numbers down there. So there you go. White Sox. Nice, John. Congrats. That's a nice photo. It's 230. Yeah, Kyle, tons of hits from these cards. We pulled an out of five uh, Mike Trout patch auto in the previous doubleheader break. Yeah, that guy's pretty good, yeah. Hopefully one day he can make as much money as Trevor Bauer. He's making a lot more money than Trevor Bauer, and with the security. Not annually. <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. You're missing the whole point of how that Bauer deal works. I'm sorry that your mind <laughs> cannot wrap your head around that. But, but I mean, it's these smart business dealings, alternative structures of contracts that the Angels just aren't able to do. Imagine if Al Pujols made double what he makes, but it was half the years. You would take half the years and be like, thanks, see you later, Albert Pujols. But, no. Just a long drain. Listen, we're paying him to go into the Hall of Fame as, a, as, a, as an angel. So. <laughs> Pretty expensive Hall of Fame as an angel. Watch he does. He'll go in as a cardinal. That's where all of his success was. He only got he only got personal milestones as an angel. Listen. World Series wins came with the cardinals. 
So he's going in as a Cardinal, so you'll be happy about that. Angel Hall away. I mean, he might be in the Angels Hall of Fame. Or maybe he'll go in with an MLB logo hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would piss everybody oh. off. There's Sterling Sharp for the Marlins. That'll be for Mark Miller. Who was that? Who was, was that Rob Lowe? That was photo, picture graph, photographed I, I, at, I, I, at a baseball I don't, game? Uh, I think he was photographed at a baseball game. No, he, he was photographed at a football game with just a Fox logo hat. Oh, I thought it was an MLB logo No, hat. it was oh. a Fox logo hat, so and he got all this... Like, people were like, what the hell is he doing? But he's on a Fox show, like, yeah. like Rescue 911 Dallas edition or something like that. So I think he was just plugging his show. Another Joey Bart right there. Dylan Carlson. Maybe those two guys are paired together. Kershaw in the 1986 design. And out of 2021, we got Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. That will be for Matt Arnold. Oh, was it the NFL logo? I knew it was. I thought it was a. Oh. I thought it was a sports like a, a sports logo. He was at a football game though. I don't even remember. I just thought that was so funny. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that being a little little weird too. I was like, <laughs> what is Rob Lowe doing? Because I always see those hats for sale, and I'm like, who wears really those? Buy those? <laughs> Rob Lowe does. That's awesome. And out of four ninety nine, we've got dab on him. Look at that, just dabbing on him. Brewers. The kids are going to love that. Kids are going to love the dab on them. Facsimile autographs. Sometimes <laughs> the first couple of boxes I did where I saw it was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Definitely a little deceiving at first. Because I wasn't looking at the whole card, I was just looking at the signature. Ooh, Billy wants a hat with just the MLB logo, but you can only find the all black. So wait, what do you what do you what color hat do you want? Like a white hat with the MLB logo? That'd be kind of sharp. Mize is a rookie in here too. I haven't seen him. I don't think I've seen him yet. But... Oh, that's a relic right there. I was like, this car feels thicker because it's a relic. That's Brand Lau with the Rays Curtis with that one. John Means. Remember Natron Means? Love that guy. Little bowling ball. Maybe the Natron thing. means business, is what Berman used to say. Boom! Boom! That's the sound effect you would make. Boof! Boof! Is that the sound effect? No, do you like run into people? His is much cooler. But... Was he on that early 90s Charger Super Bowl team? Uh, I want to say yes. Maybe. I don't, I don't remember. Leslie O'Neill was. Who was quarterback of that team? Was that the was that wasn't the that, wasn't that Humphrey? It was Stan Humphreys, I think it yeah. was I think it was Stan Humphreys. Ninety four? Was that the was that the Michael Jackson Super Bowl halftime show? Nineteen ninety four? I don't know. I don't remember. Or maybe the Michael Jackson one was in San Diego. Maybe that's what maybe that's what I'm thinking of.
Philly saying Lau will be a bigger name this year. And the short season numbers didn't get noticed by casual fans. I don't think it did either. I liked Brandon Lau because I think I had him on my fantasy team the last couple years and have enjoyed that production. Better than better than Nate Lowe too. I think he's got a bigger upside than Nate Lowe. I'm gonna start thinking about fantasy baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Now that now that football is over, it's just sad, sad times. But now, you know, our thoughts and our hearts start to start to shift towards Major League Baseball, which is great. I think we're getting. Are we getting a fullish season? Uh, I know. I think it's still in talks, right? I know pitchers and catchers are supposed to start reporting. Soon. Yeah, very soon. But I know that they're still in the talks of trying to hammer out everything right now. I think we... I actually don't know. I think they're pretty close. I think they said... No universal DH. I saw seven, seven inning double headers. Seven inning double headers. Extra innings. Probably more double runner, headers. Runner on second. Still. Right. There's Lucas Giolito to 2021 for John and the White Sox. I just don't know how many total games that they're going to have. I thought last I had heard it was like 156. -ish. Something like that, yeah. Which at that point just put it to 162. And just do, do more doubleheaders. Do you know what? I, I didn't hate the, uh, the man on second Love as it. much as I, I thought. I, I, I think it's so cool. Because initially I was just like, eh. I think it's amazing. But I think it's kind of cool because now you, it's almost like must-see TV because now you're going to have to watch. Well, that and it definitely skews it towards small ball play teams. Right. Which is super right. Cool. So you get you can just get more action on the on the uh, on the base pads, I think. Back which, bunt. which I like. Right. But I mean, with the with the man on second, with the runner on second. I'm okay if that game goes 16, 17, 18 innings. Yeah. It's, it's exciting every inning. Yeah. Because with the with the runner that's already just sitting there. Marshall, it really, it really weaponizes those, uh, those outfield arms. Right. Even more. Which I love. There's Conseco to 25 for Michael G and the A's. Kind of hard to see in the sliding right here, but there it is. It's pretty sharp. Would it make sense to have Puig on a team just for those extra inning games so he could throw people out? Yeah. But his, but Yasiel's like defensive positioning is kind of awful. <laughs> He's terrible. So <laughs> as he'll make two errors on a play that he but throws as, the guy out. Because as as soon as like his arm strength goes down, then he's worthless. Yeah. But damn, does he have a good arm? Be able he to does. Make up for I everything mean, he does wrong. I mean, it's the best arm I've seen since like. What was it this year? This Rahul last year, Mondesi, he, uh, or Ichiro? Or no, two years ago. Didn't he have? Didn't he get traded? And he was wearing slides from the previous team in the press conference. No, I don't. I don't remember that. But I do remember that he was signed by the Braves for a year, and then he was caught at a, like a massive barbecue in Florida or something oh, yeah. like that. And and nobody was wearing masks, and they said no. And then <laughs> no, he the like, He didn't yeah, opt no. out. The Braves. Oh. The Braves said we don't. This deal is terminated. Uh, That that's that's right, Kyle. Um, the uh, there's no ex there's no expanded playoffs either, not like last year, which I thought was an interesting idea, but I guess they're not going to do it. Oh, we certainly went trout fishing, Buzz. We caught a nice trout in the previous rig, that's for sure. Faux show. Kyle B, what's up?
like Joey Barr and Dylan Carlson, at least in this case, are right next to each other a lot. They're supposed to be two of the bigger names this year. These die cuts will go. And here's a Corey Seager autograph. Ooh. Two out of 25, two color patch and auto. Who's got my Dodgers? Ryan Keating. Nice. Is that Warren, Warren World Series? Uh, let's take a look on the back. Let's see where this comes from. I don't know. Well, it says up here, game use memorabilia. No word on if it's from the actual World Series, which would be awesome. My, my guess is no, but... Memorabilia contains card not from any specific game, event, or season, but it is at least game used. That's not too bad. Nice one for Ryan. Dodgers trying to figure out whether how how long they're going to extend Corey Seager. He's a free agent after this season. Brian, never remember this design from I don't know what year this was. Early nineties. That's a uh, ninety Frank Thomas, the No Name, I think. Was there a No Name Frank Thomas that year? It's the No Name front. It sells for thousands and thousands of dollars. Go look at my. Yeah, nineteen ninety Bailey thing. Go, go look at some shoe boxes. Nineteen ninety. Yeah, it's a misprint where there's No Name on the front, and it's worth a buttload. Even, like, does it have to be graded uh, for the butt I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, raw, it'll still sell for a ton, but, yeah, graded PSA 10 is on stupid money. got another variation coming up it's going to be tyler stevenson doing that rookie tyler stevenson going to roy and the red legs i don't know what his regular base card oh it's actually right up here there it is tyler stevenson doing catching is the regular one and then him hitting is the variation card 230 so just the regular short print not the super short print or even possibly the ultra short print all right so each half stack represents a box next half stack next box good luck and then we'll do all the silver packs behind those stacks all at once silver packs silver packs it's rip party time in the city what city in hermosa beach california where jaspies is located opening back up to the public tomorrow what? yeah it does look pretty out there. It does look nice out there. I think we are, Jason. Are we? Yeah. It's tomorrow. It's official. Yeah. All right. We posted, well, we're. We video and everything. Wow, it's video's already up too. For even the people that have been in our store before, uh, it's worth stopping in again because it is completely wow, different. Wow, completely different. And it looks unreal. The card bar is still there, folks. That's that's my favorite part, but it's not going anywhere. Aaron Judge flipped around. Why would you do that? Why would they do that? <laughs> is it a, a reproduction, blah, 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 blah. blah. Not an original autograph. I think it's a blue parallel. It's not even numbered, though. I mean, I guess. That sucks. Put it in the stack pile right there. Send it to Lloyd. <laughs> Sorry, Lloyd. <laughs> 
for me an, an angry, angry word of letter from him. And he's just like, what? It looked like an autograph. Jasmine it's like, it's a facsimile, Lloyd. It's, come on. <laughs> yeah, but it was flipped around. It got us all excited. And it's like, yeah, I know. Why did it do that? But yeah, art. so, no, it's not. So yeah, so folks, if you're in the uh, Los Angeles area, come and visit us. We're we're practicing all the all the usual masks, and we got hand sanitizer, and we're distancing and all that good stuff, and limited amount of people in the store. But all that being said, we're doing it the right way. As long as you're doing it the right way, come and hang out and uh, buy some boxes. You can watch the show, join some group breaks, pick up your products. Drop off PSA stuff, pick up PSA stuff, so on nice, and so Bailey. forth. Good. Oh, nice. Can't wait to get mine. Oh, Rex, we were just we were just talking about that. Um, I think it's going to be pretty normal. I think at least for now they're going to try they're going to try doing it. The we might have shortened games. Or shortened season slightly, maybe 150 some odd games what a, instead of the 162. But there's no. Um, there'll be the seven inning double headers like there were last time, and no DH for the NL, which I thought they were going to keep it, but no DH for the NL. Um, so pitchers will be hitting again, and I think teams are going to travel around and do their thing. They might have a taxi squad, but they're they're gonna they're gonna travel around and do their thing. And hopefully it works. What were you gonna say? Uh, do you think that there's a prop bet with which team is gonna have the first game canceled or most games canceled or postponed? <laughs> um, I suppose you could find some offshore doing that. And if there is, would it be dumb if I just said I'm gonna lay the money on any <laughs> team from Florida? Yeah. Marlins. All right, and they're still doing man on second. Bailey's pointing out in extra innings, which I'm fine with. Well, gonna have fans. That that's that's not up to the league. That's up to that's up to each individual city and state and county. There you go. Rex is saying Marlins and Cardinals. I I was gonna go Marlins. I think they were the team that, that got the most last year too. I think I thought Cardinals. Didn't oh, Cardinals maybe Cardinals. Start at all? How did they resolve that? Did they did they just end up going with winning percentage? Um, honestly, I don't know. A couple nice like paches for rug. Matt Arnold. What's that? I feel like we just brushed it under the rug. Oh, they were just like, eh. <laughs> Matt waved the magic wand and was like, okay, good. And now you're in the playoffs. All right, next box right there. Wait, did they end up squeezing in more double headers? I guess maybe they did. Uh, Hollywood, it's literally just a bar, like you would expect. Wooden bar with TVs that uh, during normal times you could come in and buy a box and sit down and rip pack. Serving the big hits. You know? Cold brew, uh, big hits. Cold brew, big hits. All, all day long. That's Cody Bellinger through the years. This one is numbered. The judge wasn't. It's 229. That's a fax only autograph as well. That'll, that'll go to Ryan and the Dodgers. Uh, only only high quality hits. No booze. No, we're just serving up Flawless. We're just serving up Series 1. We're just serving up Dynasty. Serving up Diamond Icons. Get you drunk on big hits. Yeah, get you drunk on big hits. That's what we're doing. That's what we did. <laughs> yeah, that was something else. Um, so yeah. Serving up Mike Trouts. You can tip with base bets, yes. You can leave your base bets behind. We will donate them. Yeah, we will donate them. We, uh, we sell those in groups of like 
uh, team boxes like 400, 500 cards at a time for like five bucks, I think, flat price based on the sport. And all that money goes to, I think, is it Make-A-Wish or? Well, it was Make-A-Wish, but the sign is different out there. Okay. Right? It's, a, it's a different charity. But it all goes to kids-based charities. There's uh, Danny Mendick to 2021 for the White Sox. That'll be for John. There's our there's Casey Mize right there too. Man, if, if they get if they get Casey Mize and Spencer Torkelson to kind of peak at the same time, ooh, that could be that could be a nice uh, nice foundation for the Riley Green. Tigers to build on. Riley Green, they've got some other guys there too. Rock Death Rage. Rock Death Rage. Death Rage. Isaac Paredes. What if, what if what if like what if like uh, Brock Death Rage's uh, walk up music was just like slow jams? That'd be pretty good. You I know, can, I can support that. <laughs> It'd be like. Uh, what are you guys playing? Do 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 Major league material going to the Friars. That'll be for Andrew. Um, I think we did pull a black parallel and a stars parallel. Not in this break, but I think in the previous doubleheader that we did. I'll wait to unload this box until you clear out like a yeah. couple packs. I'm almost done. Almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. Much quicker pace, huh? Yeah, I think I think this was the the right way to. I think because like we said, hobbies. The... I think at first I was just like, yeah, I'll sweep all these cards, and I was like, no, I'm not hobbies gonna do that. Eat it up. Yeah. Out of seventy six, I don't think we've hit a seventy six yet. I thought we did in the previous one. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of the black I know, card. I know well. you hit a you hit a Mother's Day. That was the the pink out of fifty. Father's Day is usually the blue out of seventy five. I think. All right, let's do the silver packs really quick. Silver packs, silver packs. There's Alec Baum, nice. Put that in the rookie pile. Jacob Walker's pack name would fit perfectly in that song. Wagus pack. Mm -hmm. Jacob Wagus pack? W Wagus pack? I don't even know how to say his name. Wagus? We did him on a, a podcast. Yeah, Jasmine. sure. The Jaspies podcast. And we've got Jonathan Aruza to 75. All right. All right, so you can see on the top camera me taking these silver packs, silver packs, silver packs, silver packs, silver packs, silver packs. Pack. And we'll stack these back here. And then that's a that's half a box. Ooh, what's that? What do you find? Doesn't that look different? Oh no, it's thicker? just no, I thought it looked thicker. It's just oh. I think it might just be the back of the you of, a, excited again. of like a MLB Now card or something like that. <laughs> You're gonna make Lloyd's heart stop. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What's that, Lloyd? <laughs> <laughs> so each half stack is a box. Can you, oh, is that, is that hidden off screen? It's not going anywhere, but I'm trying to keep these on screen as much as possible. So everything you see on the screen right here, everything the sun touches, everything ours. the sun touches is ours. Even that dark area back there? Like, no, <laughs> sun. We, we don't, don't go there. We don't go there. All right. So this is this is the this is all of hobby, and then jumbo so is, is right the there. Remember, remember we accidentally, accidentally cut this beginning. open at the beginning of the video. You saw that. Blah 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 blah. I don't know if there's any autographs in the silver packs. So there has to there be, are. right? Um, I've seen a travel. I can't. I can't imagine it. They are out there. It doesn't have odds on here, but they are out there. 
All right. Let's keep rolling. All right, good luck. Remember, uh, everything ships. It's a facsimile. Vet commons will be gathered together in one big stack and then evenly distributed amongst all 30 teams. Just for the double headers. In the pick your teams, they'll, uh, they'll all, everything ships, they'll all go to you. And what will specifically go to teams will obviously be inserts, like future stars inserts, rookie cards, so on and so forth. Obviously, and these inserts right here. Obviously, I'm not able to, to get to every single rookie card. And I know there's a lot of valuable ones in here, but, but they are safe. They are protected. They'll get to you sorted out and shipped to you in top quality fashion. So fear not. We appreciate you getting in. And thanks to Tops for inviting us to do this after hours party for series one. A lot of fun here. A lot of work, but punctuated by a lot of big hits, which I think is awesome. So this definitely looks pretty nice. There's the Boba Shet through the years, facsimile autograph. Curtis, the, the, the spicy ones you can eat more of. The white cheddar just gets too, your mouth just gets coated in that flavor way too quick. What are we talking about? We're debating Cheez-Its. Oh, Cheez-Its. I like the white cheddar Cheez-Its. It's just too much. I think it's too much? Like, if you gave me the same portion of white cheddar, I don't feel like I would be enjoyed as much. As I have to admit, I don't think I've ever had the spicy one, so I would, wouldn't be able to tell. Tell you the exact difference. I do like the Cheez-It commercials, though, with the... Anthropomorphic wheels of cheese. The block of cheese? Oh, yeah. the best. And the survey taker? I woke up feeling the cheesiest. Um, can, you, can you give me uh, 75s? Yeah. Mm. Thanks. All right, Nolan Arenado relic for the Rockies. Anthony with that one. David, this is a uh, double header number two. schedule that's uh, pinned in the chat uh, will tell you what's coming up next and so on. And we're out of 2021. 1902 out of 2021 is Tim Anderson. White Sox. Ye of the monster bat flips. I like his bat flip style. That goes to John H. and the White Sox. Let the kids play. Is Tatis, uh, is Tatis bat flip from the playoffs? Is that a uh, short print? Oh my god, please tell me it is. That'd be cool. You know the one where you just like tossed it like 10 feet in the air? Yeah, I like bat flips. And we got, oh, this must be a variation. There we go. We got rookie Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. Going to John Hyanga and the White Sox. Nice variation there. Scorching Hot Cheddar and Cheddar Ranch. I think the Scorching Hot Cheddar would be my thing. I wonder if I want Scorching Hot ch uh, Cheez-Its. I'm okay with spicy stuff, but... All right, we got a Ryan Mountcastle right up here for the Orioles. All of those will go to Michael Gallucci and the O's. I 
Adam. Hey, Adam, what's going on? I feel like every time I flip these right side up, they'll go back the other way. It's just, it's just fruitless. David, do they, is that on the checklist? I'm, is, he, is he back in product? Who? Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds? Oh, thank you. Here's 46 out of 70. Tony Kemp. Black parallel for the A's and Michael Gallus with that one. Gellis with that one. Any Zions? No. <laughs> no, no Zions in this yet. <laughs> Not yet. We keep looking. And out of 1749, out of 2021, for the Dodgers. Group of Dodgers right here. There's Kike. Missed that guy. There's Jock Peterson. Missed that guy, too. Uh, Rex, they stopped including him a long time ago. Yeah, he's separate. He has to have a, se a separate contract. As soon as you retire, unless you have a private contract with them. Right, it has to be like a likeness thing, right? Just can't use someone's likeness. Yeah, like you can't use his, his images or anything like that. Got a Keston here, a relic here for the Brew Crew. He should have a lot of cards. He's really, really good. Wasn't he card number one this year? Oh, yeah. Who was card number I one think, this I year? I think Tatis was number one this year. That's kind of like a big deal, right? I want to say it was Tatis. Yeah, Tatis is number one. Tatis, Adam Singh? Yeah, yeah. nice. I mean, he, technically, he should be winning every year, but they can't. They just can't do that. I, I mean, they could. Well, Why not? I mean, honestly, the, the best years he had were the years he didn't win with against Miguel Cabrera. And then he, and, and he, the, the only reason why he game. lost was because of Miguel like, Cabrera had a triple crown. yeah, a triple crown or something like insane. Stupid, yeah. But like legitimately, or some like weird benchmark number. Statistically, his best years on uh, were the years he didn't win the MVP. That's kind of crazy. What Bichette hits are in Series 1? I'm assuming there's autos. Yeah, I'm assuming there's some autos in here. He, he was officially a rookie last year, so... I wouldn't really expect too much Bichette stuff this year. They're all in last year's stuff. This is 2021 Series 1. Right? 2020 is where he would be. Yeah. Because Vlad was 2019, right? Yep. Right. Vlad and... Uh... 726 out of 2021, we've got Sean Manea. BGO.
Mm, nice. Those are those spring training relics are pretty cool. There it is. That goes at uh, Joey Gallo. It's a manufactured patch going to Brian and the Rangers. They can be autographed too, as we saw in the previous doubleheader. What comes? Uh, what else comes out soon? Tribute? Yeah, tribute is usually an early season product. I mean, as the season, we're going to see a ton of baseball. Got, ooh, a variation. Sixto Sanchez. Nice one for the fish. That's going to go to Mark Miller and the Miami Marlins. A lot of alliteration there. Mark Miller, Miami Marlins. It's 230 on the bottom, so just the regular, so uh, a nice short print. He had, he had a pretty great year. They stole him from the Phillies. 33 strikeouts over 39 innings. Last year, I mean, he's got he's got some electric stuff. I think he can only get better. Marlins might be a little a tiny bit ahead of schedule. Yeah, well, give me a second here. Yeah. And out of 300, that's Yuli Guriel for the Astros. That's going to go to Yancey. All right, so here's all the, I guess I'll still all be on camera right here. Here's, here's all the numbered cards. Here's all the rookies and silver pack rookies. And here are just regular silver pack dudes. Cool. And then your discretion of who you want in yeah. the uh, recap. You got it. Bailey's hoping that the, uh, really hope the Rays bring up Wander this year. He's supposed to come up this year, no? Uh, yeah. On He'll schedule two? He'll be up. Should be up. But don't be surprised if he ends up in update or series two as a flagship mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. one of those. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially if he goes off. Same thing with Julio Rodriguez. Jared Kalanick. I mean, there actually is going to be a lot of names up. Yeah, a lot of these guys that we've been seeing in, like, draft, you know, ages ago, Bowman ages ago, now we could start to see them in in the main major league sets. And then see what they can do. I think it's, I think, you know, Wander Franco has been on the top of, near the top of, just top prospect lists across MLB and fan graphs and Baseball America for so many years now. I think people are like, so is he going to be the real deal? Here's another variation right here. Tristan McKenzie. This is card 230, Tristan McKenzie. There he is. Nice one for Cleveland. Yancey. Cleveland, this is for you. Right, yeah, Jason Dominguez, Kirkstad, yeah, those guys we're not going to see for a little while, like this year's guys, Maybe a minute or two. I think Adley is on a partial major league contract, though. Uh, okay, so I, I, I could see Adley getting like yeah. a cup of coffee in like, like September. Quick, later this will be a quicker year. call up than the rest of them. I've decided to super flex Andrew Vaughn. Oh yeah, White Sox guy? Yeah. Why? Golden Spikes winner. Uh huh. Uh, first baseman for right, a right, right. Corner, perennial, corner, uh, perennial powerhouse team. Corner guys are pretty good for collecting. Corner hitters around him, right? 
Your Sonny Gray to two ninety nine. So, good player on a good team that's going to be competing for a long time. So, I mean, all those things. And probably not as expensive as Luis Robert exactly. to collect or uh, Eloy or, or Eloy. any of them. Yeah. These cards are pretty cool. Here's Reese Hoskins foil. There's another Joe Adele right there. Look, Ty look how confident Tyler Stevens is. Just, just pop, just pulling that bubble gum. Dude, pretty cool. Right there, he's just like, nah, no big deal. It's gonna be an iconic rookie card right there. No big deal. It's like I got it. Doesn't even have to say it. Blowing, oh, blowing, blowing, blowing oh. bubbles. It's like I got it. No worries. Yeah, okay. There. Did Marcel Ozuna resign with the Braves? Uh, he did. Yeah, yeah. four years. I think that's Please. right, yeah. I think that was just last week. Oh, and an autographed AJ Puck. Puck man. Nice, that's for the A's. Michael Gellis did that. Is this a, the entire set? Or do you, I mean, you mean the entire case? This is the entire case. I'm pretty sure in a double header you'd be able to put together the entire set. Think, minus the short prints. Yeah. Right? Might be able to make, make an entire set out of this, I would think. It's only a 330 card set. Each case is... Like twenty eight, uh, average is about twenty seven uh, twenty seven hundred cards, One ninety three out of twenty twenty one, Johnny Cueto. Giants. That goes to Ryan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, one touch that right away. All right, we've got uh, do it for the fans. Do it for the cutouts. One thirty to four ninety nine. White Sox. That's going to go to John.
Right, this is another facsimile. <laughs> Mike Trout fooling us. Dylan Carlson in that 1986 design. 86, 85, 86? 86. 86. Yeah. There's a Jim Rice autograph. Nice. Five out of ten. Nice Rice for Coppola and the Red Sox. All right. And the final hobby box. <laughs> nice one, Adam. The final hobby box. What's the best card we pulled so far, Drew? It was. It's got to be the out of five Mike Trout patch auto from the first doubleheader break. We've got so many more cases to go. There could be a ton more nice stuff. We had a Christian Pache autograph in the first case. We've got some nice stuff in this case too. Pache autograph? In the first case, yeah. Wow. Or the first uh, doubleheader, mm -hmm. and we're not even done with this doubleheader. Oh, we got all jumbo. We still have the jumbo to go, and there, there's a lot more autographs, guaranteed autographs in there, so. And more relics, so we got, we got a lot happening here. We're only on the last box of this hobby. And there's a Beau Bichette to $2.99. That is 152 out of 299 going to Ray and the Blue Jays. Ray Jays. If you're a position player, Sean, non pitcher, what would you want your uh, your photo to be? You want to be like in a batting stance. No, no, I want a fielding. You want a fielding photo. Like, uh, it, like it, it, you're in the if I'm an infielder, I want it like I'm I'm getting ready to field a ground ball, like a like a facsimile. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're outfielder. I'd probably want to. I'd probably want like uh, I'm catching, going back for a for a fly ball. You know, hand up. Hand up. I okay. Co okay. I, I cover in the. All right. Like, call him the call him the ball. Or like, okay. Are you are you shading? Walking, you're or, shading the or, sun, or maybe. Walking the sun. Shading the sun a little bit, and yeah. you've got. It. Or waving somebody off. Um, yeah. There's I mean, uh, Ryan Brazier to one ninety nine. Like if you're in series one, you know. Yeah. Like. I do like the swing through ones though. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, like 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 Daniel Murphy right here. Yeah, those are good. Those are pretty cool. But then you're like, did he make contact or is it a strike? Yeah, is it a strike? Who knows? I, this is like a foul ball right here, right? I feel like that's like his eyes are like that's that's fair territory. You think that's fair territory? That seems like a deep shot. I don't know. It looks like he's he 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 like pulled that one too much. Um, do you want me to put these ones that are sleeved just straight into the bin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just part of the... Straight into the bin. Those are always cool. The, a base stealing one. 
Yeah, sliding through pipes. You know, right? Mm. We're like, but you got to have some show chains, you know here's what I mean? A, so you got some like gold, some show chains like popping out while you're like doing a head first slide. Can I get a Dan Vogelbach sliding? <laughs> Dan Vogelbach sliding? Yeah, the, the stolen base photo, that, that's a good one. The Alcano likes the robbing the homer one, yeah. Get that on my Series 1 baseball card. So is the spring training manufacturer package, were you doing 130 from them? Uh, yeah, I don't think we have 120s, but, yeah, I, think we're out of those but I think 130s. 130 intake. I kind of like this Trey Turner card. Look at all the dirt on his uniform. Yeah. And he's got the leg kick going right here. You could look at that and you go, that guy's gritty. Yeah, that guy, yeah, that guy. He's gritty. That guy's gritty, right. You automatically think. By the way, are we surprised that uh, the Flyers have Gritty as a mascot when the Phillies have, uh, what's his name? The Philly Fanatic? And for pay-per-view in Philadelphia... What if those two mascots fought each other? I would, I would watch that. That'd be so much fun. I would watch that, like for charity or something. Yeah, yeah. Philadelphia Children's Hospital, something like that. One gets to use a bat, the other one gets to use a hockey stick. Look at this. I don't know who you have to pitch that idea to, but you should be like the Don King of that production. How great would that be? Set it up, Sean. Be the oh, Don King. I don't know people. You've got connections. Not, not, not for something like that. San Diego chicken. <laughs> Vlad Guerrero Jr. relic. Off the top ropes. It? San Diego chicken Seven. off the top ropes. Not numbered, but that'll go to the Blue Jays. Ray with the Jays. Oh, the ejection photos were great. Dusty Baker. But, uh, what was it, Buck Showalter? He was such an angry man. Ooh, yeah, ejection photos. That's a, Did they ever do those? Oh, Buck Showalter. You used to see his face. Big, fat, red face. Well, three rookies in here, plus a Tony Gwynn. Ha, ha, ha. Trout, Cabrera, Gallo, and Xander Bogarts. I'll swap you once you take these up. Yeah. Casey Mize. Yeah, if you're gonna have manager cards, there's Davey Garcia for the Yankees. Um, if you're gonna have manager cards, you gotta you gotta you gotta show them being like thrown thrown out of a game, like or just like arguing with the ump or something like that. Kicking dirt on the yeah 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 right. kicking dirt. You know you can't have them like just standing at the top top step. You know it's like all right, we get it. You're a manager. Unless it's an old school manager and he's got a big old chip in. Okay, all right, all right. I, I, I'd like that. All right. Uh, that's hobby. Jumbo time. So what do you want? You want? Well, why don't clear you this, this away? Okay. Yeah, and this is this is the recap portion. Literally, it's just uh, uh, a ninety-nine or under relics. And that's it. All right. Here's some of the, the other stuff exclusives over here. Slide off all the exclusives over here. We'll do those at the end. And let's get these jumbos out of the way. No, Drew, those the, all those packs are in the boxes. So those go to the breaks themselves. Or if you were to come into the store and buy a box, it's in the box. So yeah, they, it's, not, it's not like you can take that off the box anymore. They you yeah, they used to be out of the box, but then shop owners wouldn't sell those packs. They yeah. would sell them separately and they weren't supposed to. So that's why they were like, well, got to put them inside the box now. Yeah. I can leave the red, actually the recap stuff over here. Yes, you can just grab it up yeah. here. All right, so here are one, two, three, and about to be four jumbo boxes. We'll leave, there's two more on the cart right there, but we've got, we've got four on the table now that we'll work through. Got another, oh, yeah. 
Here are That's just rookie, right? just rookies, okay. numbered and relics, okay, cool. and just a silver pack. Okay, cool. Non rookies. Yeah. All right. Now we're in jumbos. So jumbo, one autograph per box, plus a couple relics I wanna see. So remember each, each half stack right there is a box. There's Joachim Soria to 299. You say Joachim, I'd say Joachim. Wa is it Joachim I'd Soria? Say Joachim. Joachim, Joachim. Do you say Joachim Noah? I say Joachim Noah, yeah. That's weird, because I say Joachim Noah, so now I'm thinking I was wrong hmm. on Joachim Soria. Yeah, I actually don't know. Hmm. I think it's Joachim, jo Joachim, I don't know. Adam's saying Joachim. Joachim? Soria? I know how to say Soria. That's the, that's the important part, I think. Keanu, Quinoa, <laughs> Keanu. Uh, there was a waitress. Quinoa. The first, first time I ever saw uh, quinoa on a, a menu. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, that sounds really good. It's this nice little like kind of healthy bar or restaurant next door to my house. Sure. I was like, I'll take the quinoa bar, uh, the quinoa bowl. She's like, okay, great. The quinoa. <laughs> Mind you. It like a couple months later, I find out it's quinoa, and I was like, "Well, what a sweet lady for not <laughs> for not, not telling you that you were an idiot." Yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> it's quinoa. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, that's that's a great choice. Yeah, I think I think I heard quinoa before I read quinoa. You know what I mean? Like, like I knew what quinoa was, but I've never seen. I, I, I never saw the word. Never right? saw the word spelled yeah. out. So I was like, when I first saw it, I think I remember thinking. Oh, is that how you spell it? I thought that was something else. <laughs> but it had always been quinoa the entire time. It's like, oh, that was, I thought that was quinoa. And that was different from quinoa. Yeah, no. It's the same thing. <laughs> and it's just like, where's everyone finding this quinoa at the store? All I'm seeing is quinoa. Oh, That's great. Who, uh, who figured out that that spelling meant that word? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the etymology? What's the etymology of that word? I mean, hot dog. Pretty close. Hot dog. It's hot. It's, 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 a, it's a dog. It's a sandwich. It's perfect. Quesadilla is a sandwich, right? I don't know what a sandwich is. I think sandwiches are supposed to be open-faced. No, not open-faced, that is, but two different slices of bread that's not connected. But that's, that's quesadilla. No, quesadilla is one thing that's just folded, and hot dog is also something that's just folded, so that's just, those are different things. Those are not a sandwich. But I feel like pitas are sandwiches. Oh, they call them pita sandwiches, right? But maybe that's just a misnomer. Thanks. I think they should be called wraps, to be honest with you. Because honestly, in that case, a calzone is a sandwich, too. Right, So, but it's not a sandwich. I think it is. It's not. The sandwich is two separate slices of bread. A hot dog's a sandwich. No, a hot dog's not a sandwich. A hot dog's just a hot dog. A hot dog's sandwich. Quinoa is a Peruvian word. Well, thank you, Peru. Peruvian. Mm, those little you beautiful people. Jammed me up a little bit, to be honest with you. It's delicious, though. Quinoa. Quino? Quino? Quinoa? They hot pocket sandwiches. So hot pockets a sandwich, see? Calzone's a sandwich. Hot dog's a sandwich. Taste slow. Uh, I think hot pocket is just a pocket. So. Hot pockets. And we got Brady Singer. For the Royals, that will be for Ike Polo. These colored sparkle parallels are super cool. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They got like that sort of pearlescent look in the background. You know what it reminds me of? What? Diamond Anniversary <laughs> update. Mm, yeah. They've used it before, yeah. Didn't they call them ice at one point? I don't know what they call them now. Mm. 
Remember when Vanilla Ice tried to tell us that it was different from the yes. from the David Bowie Queen song, <laughs> Under Pressure? <laughs> And then he had to pay a bunch of money because yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, because it wasn't. Because they were like, yeah, no, no, no. We, I remember we, his. I remember him saying. I remember him saying. He, he's like, he's like, oh, it's their song is ding, 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 and our song is ding, 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 ding. And we're like, what? It's totally different, guys. It's totally different. At Stars of Service card, uh, McCutcheon goes to the Phillies. That will be for Yancey. Well, Rex, you got to use the enclosed uh, um, holder for the hot pockets to not make a mess in your pockets. Yeah, you you got to use the holder. They they ask you to use the holder. You got to follow directions. That's right. I forget that's his legal name, Rob Van Winkle. He's a Van Winkle. Yeah. Like Rip. Uh, There's Edward. Oliveris for the Royals. That's going to go to Coppola as well. I don't think Rip Van Winkle's related. Yeah, Hot Pockets are not sandwiches. That's 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 where I'm at. They are. No, they're not. They're not sandwiches. I think it is. They're 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 a pocket of food, just like a calzone. Ryan's it's close. A, it's closer to a calzone than it would be a sandwich. Ryan's a lawyer. He'll argue anything. It's one piece. I'm with Ryan H on this that's one. That's not. That's not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a calzone. A calzone is a yeah, sandwich. Yeah, pocket is not a sandwich. Correct. No, calzone is a sandwich too. We calzone is not a out. sandwich. We kind of figured that out though. A pita, a pita is a sandwich. It's not. They they call it the wrong thing. It's not. A, it's like when you say a pita sandwich, you just sound like an idiot. <laughs> I am an idiot. It's more no. of a, it's more of a wrap. No, you're not. Okay. That's the frustrating part. You're not, and you're saying idiotic things. See, Ryan saying a pita is a sandwich though. No, it's not. It's it folds over. It's a wrap. There it is. See? A burrito is a sandwich, too. I agree. Taco is a sandwich. Yep. I'm trying to think what else we can throw in there. Taco's not a sandwich. Taco's a taco. Well, sushi's not a sandwich because it doesn't have, it's not breaded. It's not bread-based. Yeah. So, Adam, that's out, of, that's out of the question. All right, next jumbo box. Well, that's that's what th that's what they want you to believe. What is not a sandwich? Uh, a salad. What? That's not even the same family. Well, I know, but he asked, "What is not a sandwich?" That's an easy answer. Cere Adam cereal is not a sandwich. That is true. Yeah, Drew, you gotta be a little more specific. Jello, Jello is not a sandwich. The KFC Double Down that is not a sandwich because it's chicken on the outside. By the way, have you ever had Is one it of really chicken on the outside? So the bread, the breading on it is chicken, and I think it's cheese and stuff in the middle. So the bread supposed to be the, the bread is the bread. Is the bread? Oh like, man, it's like that is. One, I don't think they actually can sell that anymore. Can they? Is that a real thing still? Uh, I feel like I feel like it's a limited time only situation though. I don't think they sell it anymore, but I didn't realize that that was it. What is not a sandwich that involves bread or breading? Breaded chicken. What's up, Logan? What's going on? Avocado toast. That's not a sandwich. <laughs> Ryan, if you can't stand this, how can you stand the courtroom? Are you talking about, are you saying you're dealing with smarter people than us in the court? We've got another Sixto Sanchez variation going to the Marlins. Mark Miller. Uh, I think they are, Logan, on any given day, but in a seven-game series, I don't know. We've got Ahmed Rosario to 25. Three-color patch for the Mets, Daniel Graham. It is not Rex. Uh, I thought it was Cito Sanchez, but... On a, on baseball broadcast, they say Sixto, Sixto Sixto Sanchez. So I'm going with what the baseball broadcasters say because they've got the media guide that has the info from the players on how they want their names to be pronounced on radio and television. It's until he changes it. 
What am I to say? Half jumbo box right here. What about cornbread, Ryan? You can make sandwiches out of cornbread. Uh, yes, Eric. Corn dog is a sandwich. Corn dog is not a sandwich. What are you talking about? Corn dog is a sandwich. What are you? Corn dog is definitely a sandwich. A sandwich, basically, it's it's two separate pieces of bread with something in the in between constitutes a sandwich. That's what a sandwich is. If the bread is connected like so, right? Not a sandwich. I feel like it is. No, now you're just trying to piss me off. Steaks where they slice the bun. That's that's a sandwich, right? But the bread's connected. No, it's more, that's closer to the, the hot dog family. But that's a There's sandwich. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Aguilar. What's a hot dog called? <laughs> a hot dog is a sandwich. No, I think a hot dog is just a hot dog. No, it's a and sandwich. a hoagie is just a hoagie. No, not a sandwich. It's not a hoagie sandwich. It's just a hoagie. So if they cut, if, if they took that slice all the way through to the end, then it's a sandwich. Then it turns into a sandwich. Even though it's the same exact stuff. But just because it's connected, that makes it not I mean, a sandwich. Right. No. Right. The subtle difference is important. No. If I if I had one different chromosome, that changes a lot of things. Ja here's the definition. Sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese, or meat, placed on or, or in between slices of bread, or more generally any dish where bread serves as a container or wrapper. Wrapper! For you know what? Bread. I don't know if this is what the Earl of Sandwich... The Earl of Sandwich, the, the founder of the sandwich, look this up. Thank you, Jason. It's true. The Earl of Sandwich should have the definition of sandwich because he invented it. You are Frankie. You are buying a sandwich. Oh, Joe Adele. Oh, nice. Nice. Angels, Wes Thomas. I don't think I called your name all Brit. I mean, you had Joe Adele ba like base cards, but nothing like this. I like that. That's pretty nice. We're expecting big things from him this year. That goes to the Angels, Wes Thomas. There you go. Earl of Sandwich reminds Eric of Vegas. Was there an Earl of Sandwich in Vegas? Yeah, there was one in Planet Hollywood. In Planet Hollywood. Where do they serve? Hoagies? Well, no sandwiches. <laughs> I mean, especially hot dogs. They sold hot dogs there. Because there's a Pink's uh, Sandwich Shop. That's why this one had to call themselves Pink's Hot Dog. To differentiate. But they oh, also... Because a hot dog big. is different from... A hot dog is a hot dog. A sandwich is a sandwich. No, they, there's a Dodger's Sandwich and then there's a Dodger's Hot Dog. There's Brandon Nemo, uh, 1049 out of 2021 for the Mets. Misappropriation of the word, Logan, that's why. Ice cream sandwich is not a sandwich. That we can all agree on. All right, next one right here. Oh, that has the... You want a Dodger dog? You might as well would go, you uh, go lick concrete. It's pretty much the way wow. Dodger dogs taste. They're pretty delicious. Jesus Aguilar. We know, we know who's not going to Dodger games this summer well, with us. There's Daryl Strawberry. I really do want to get a 
a denim jacket and put all put all these on. Or just make a, make those into a jacket. Do you need a base to make a jacket out of those? Uh, you might need like some sort of liner, yeah. You can you can make an entire jacket of that, I suppose. Pot sticker, yes, a sandwich. Wait, no. No, pot it's just a pot not, sticker. Pot sticker is not bread. Pot sticker is a pot sticker. Pot sticker is not bread. If its casing was made out of bread, pizza pocket is a sandwich. No, it's just a pocket of pizza. With with in a sandwich. No, stop. That's just. Stop. Mozzarella sticks, sandwiches. <laughs> Bao bun, definitely a sandwich. No, stop. Now you're just calling everything a sandwich. Bao buns are great. Well, now you're just calling everything a sandwich. So so now now a sandwich doesn't mean anything anymore. If everything's a sandwich, then nothing's a sandwich. Got a variation here for the White Sox. That's Dane Dunning. John with the White Sox. Lumpia? Yes. Think so. And we got an autograph. We got Jorge Mateo. Padres. That's going to go to Andrew A. All right, all right. Next half of a uh, jumbo box, then another jumbo box, and then two more jumbo boxes, and then we're done with double header two, ladies and gentlemen. Almost there. Yeah, I think so. I think that we should be at like 145. Cool. 150. I mean, be, it's not, it won't be 220. I think last one was two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, that's Which is way too long. Out of 300, we've got uh, Roman Quinn. This is Sparta. Is there a sequel to 300? <laughs> oh. oh! From the makers of 300 comes 301. There was one man left battling for Sparta. He was 301. There is a, oh. Where is everybody? So they did make a 300 in the second one. Oh, they did make a 300. It's not good, though. All right. Meet the Spartans, and then like they'll they'll jump the shark in the third one, and it'll be like Spartans in space. <laughs> you always have to have a space one. Oh my god, it's a shark beta! <laughs> Oceans twelve, Oceans three hundred. That is, <laughs> Oceans three hundred. Well, once we douse all the lamp, the lamp lights in the city, then we can sneak in, and steal, <laughs> steal the gold. Sounds like 
like something Nicolas Cage would do once he mm-hmm. found a dinosaur that he had to return back to somebody else. He bought a dinosaur? Yeah, you didn't know that? He bought a stolen, uh, a stolen, um, what was it, a uh, dinosaur, like, relic or whatever, and wow. it was stolen from a museum. <laughs> this belongs in a museum! And then they, they literally... You got like, Indiana Jones like, out there? Yeah, get this, give it back. We got our top men on it. And we've got Joey Gallo for the Rangers. That's going to go to Brian. Remember when they did Leprechaun in Space? I do remember that. I, 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 didn't, I don't think I've ever saw, seen it, but I saw it. Remember when they had Snoop Dogg uh, host, what was that late night scary HBO show? What scary HBO show? It was uh, The Crypt Keeper. Who was the guy? Mm. There's an old show. The auto, the auto Adele was not numbered. The autograph of Adele not numbered. The one I just pulled that was just a base card. It'll be flipped around like this if it's numbered or something special. Yep. Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt, yeah. And then they have Snoop Dogg host the one. And to 2021, we've got Paul DeYoung for the Cardinals. That will be for Jonathan. And we got a Chadwick Trump. Sounds like someone who's just like tromping around a forest. Like a giant? Like, yeah, like a giant. Like he is? Ah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. That goes to the Giants. That'll be for Ryan. There's Blake Snell, Rays edition. How often do you think he got made fun of in middle school? Snell? Yeah. For being slow? No. For, he's probably fast? No, no, no. It's Jake. They'll be like, Blake Smell. Oh, yeah. be like, ah, oh, Blake Smell. <laughs> it's weird. Do you want to trade Blake Smell? I bet, you, I bet you he was really fast and they called him Snail, though. Uh, you, oh, you went with Snail. Yeah. It was like, you're so slow, Jake, Blake Snail. God. And that's when he turned to baseball. All right. Almost there. Uh, yeah, John, over on our Instagram. Instagram. 140 out of 499. We got Jorge Alfaro for Mark and Miami. All personal breaks are over on Instagram, John. At Jaspies Breaks. On Twitter and Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks. Martin, they might have a short print of him swinging the bat. They might have a short print of him swinging the bat. We've got Chris Bryant, Relic to 199. That'll be for the Cubs, Mary Lou. And a Francisco Lindor. Must be some sort of variation, I guess. I also would, would it be like insert variations Does that exist? I don't know. I don't know either. Don't put it by him. 
Indians, that'll be for Yancey. Maybe a variation. I guess I could have looked at the number on the back, but I don't know if the inserts have different numbers. Bo Bichette. Get a down year last year, Logan. A very not so good year. I don't expect that to last, though. No, for Yelich, yeah. yeah. Ever since he was robbed, and then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Frankie's saying it's an it's an all black border on the on that Lindor, so that's why it might be a little different. All right, two more jumbo boxes, and then we'll do all of those exclusives in the back. All at once, then we'll do a recap, and we'll give away some packs, the Rip Party exclusives. I'm gonna hand Sean, these are the rookie cards. These are the numbered and relics. No third stack, right? What's that? No third stack. That's it. Okay. Yeah, no third. Well, I haven't there's opened there's the no other. Th right. I haven't yeah. opened the other things yet. Yeah, 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 makes sense. The prices are on jaspies.com, Martin. Check it out. Pre-orders are available now. The official product drops tomorrow. Thanks to Tops, we're doing the after hours. Yes, Tops sir. rip party. All the giveaways for those packs are only for those in the breaks themselves. Right. You wouldn't. I mean, you gotta be in the break. That's the reward for joining our breaks. The packs are going to be interesting, too. I think every five cards, every one of them numbered to 10. There is the uh, out of 76, the patriotic one, 29 out of 76, Patrick Sandoval. Angels. Wesley. I mean... To me, I feel like ours are in you. You should hold, right? Uh, I mean, maybe what sell, do you think? Sell and rebuy him. Sell and rebuy? Yeah. I mean, sell I now. Good, I think he's a good long term, but I think his value is ridiculously high, or it was. You know what I mean? Sell now. Maybe he starts the season slow, yeah. and then rebuy when at a lower price. Yeah, buy the dip. Buy the dip. Yeah, that might not be too bad. There's Josh. Josh Bell, right here. For the Pirates, not numbered, but that will go to the Buckos SKS. I don't know, what does everyone think about Randy Arzarena? I mean, you, you got to think to yourself, what what's the ceiling of Randy Arzarena? You know, like long term, what does he have to do to get to price X Y Z? You know, yeah, if you have multiple like El Canon, like yeah, sell one, keep one, see what happens. You know, I think he's a, it's a little, you know, it's it's a little rough because of the market that he's in in Tampa Bay. I think. That kind of hurts his value a little bit, but, you know, if he was on the Yankees, that might be a different story. Out of 70, we've got Spencer Howard. But, yeah, yeah, Frankie's saying, thinking the same thing. He's got to leave Tampa if... If he wants to kind of take the cap off of his uh, his his hobby potential, anyway, I mean, he could he could still he can still like rake there. Right? No, no, I, I don't think I don't think Frankie's saying like he, they they should trade him. I think I think he's just saying there's a Mount Castle two ninety nine. I think he's just saying like if he wants to really reach top, you know, ceiling. The highest ceiling possible, I don't think, is going to be in in Tampa Bay, unless he rakes and unless they win the World Series with on his back or something like that. Yeah, he was he was with the Cardinals first, yeah, and the Cardinals traded him for 
peanuts. Well, they they got Matt Libertor, I think, was part mm-hmm. of that deal. He's he's supposed to be a big yeah. pro, pitching prospect for the Rays. There's uh, Miguel Rojas to four ninety nine for the fish. But I don't know. I mean, maybe the Cardinals do do trade him before before he has to get paid. You know, I think they move Blake Snell. Although I think he's on a pretty friendly contract, but they I think they moved him. So I don't know. We'll we'll see we'll see what Tampa Bay does. Oh, there's Kevin Biggio. Nice one for the Bluebirds. That's going to go to Ray and the Jays. Nice. There's Joe Adele right there. Yeah, I'm still in the house. Why wouldn't I be in the house? What time is it? Um, 10.30. 10.30? How'd it get to 10.30 so fast? Fun. Just having fun doing these rakes. Oh, I know, I know. I, I, I could I can use a refreshing beverage right now. There's Mikolas for the Cardinals. But we'll be after after the after hours. After the tops rip party after hours, Joe P. Alright, we are moving. Here's some more numbered cards for you, Mr. Sean. Thank you, sir. Rookie cards here, and you'll have some silver packs pretty soon. Nice. Alright. Here's Trout right here, Matt. Yeah, I would think so, although I don't I'm not really familiar with the uh, with the uh, rookie auto prices. And what the variation prices are, but I, I would think that the the trout out of five relic and autograph would still be the biggest hit out of series one for us anyway. I mean, could we even really consider that? We'd have to do, would have to just take that out of the conversation and just be like, and just be like, all right, what was the next biggest hit after that? I mean, you know. I don't know, but I think this Mr. Oriole is super cute. Hmm? The Oriole. The, is that what that little bird's called? I don't know. Whatever it is. I think it's adorable. Um, someone tell me what this guy's called. The, the, the little bird. We've got an out of 70 here. We've got Matt Olson. And behind him is a Bren Lau relic. And there's Dylan Carlson. Uh, because they pay him a lot to do that, Drew. Yeah. They pay him a lot of money to do that. That's why. And that's exactly why. There you go. Joe, Joe's on the same train. <laughs> yeah, Joe, yeah. <laughs> it, it, if you're ever wondering a question like that, it all goes back to the money. It's usually money, yeah. Follow, follow the money. Yeah, exactly. That's the other one. Ben Simmons. Devontae Graham. Is he, is he on that one, too? Maybe. I don't know. They're not They're not tops people, so. Yeah. Who cares? It's the Oriole Bird event that is. It's just the Oriole bird, Matt? That's it? I'm going to call him Mr. Oriole. Yeah, I like Mr. Oriole a lot better than just the Oriole bird. Just that guy? You know? Alright, we've got... 
Is that Gene Segura? Yeah, Gene Segura to 199 for the Phillies. That'll be for Yancey. We got Aaron Judge right there for Lloyd and the Yankees. And this last half of this jumbo box, then we'll do the exclusives and the box toppers. Then we'll do a recap, then we'll randomize for the Rip Party packs. And then we'll keep pushing on from there. Thanks, everyone. I think this, we're at a much reasonable time we figured it frame out. on this one than the other one. So, appreciate that. Yeah, big thanks to Toss for that. That helps us spot the variations right away. Out of 2021 is Alec Baum. Nice. That's a good one. That's a good one for Yanti and the Phillies. And then we got Jonathan Ar uh, Aruza for the Red Sox. And that copper board. Ara 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 no, I think you're right. I think it's Arauz. 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 For the Red Sox. Coppola with that one. Uh, Joe, there'll be more tomorrow. I think most of them for... Yeah, I think we're booked up till I, like, I till like noon tomorrow. Like 10 o'clock, 10 12 o'clock uh, yeah. tomorrow. But there'll be more. Four jerseys. Joey Bart, facsimile... All right, and we are done. Let's grab the exclusives here. Do you want to have any of those other ones? Yeah. For, for, for your recap. Thank you, sir. All right, so there's two of these per box and one of these per box. These little uh, the tall boy cards. Here's a Devers for the Red Sox. Capola. There's a Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. That'll be for Daniel Graham. On the recap, you don't care if it's separated. Like, these are the Yeah, no, no. It's not. Justin Verlander. Astros. That'll be for Yancey. We got Juan Soto for Ross. I, I, they could be bookmarks if you want them to. El Canon. That's a cool bookmark. I'd use it as a bookmark. Alright, there is Christian Yelich for the Brewers. That's going to be for Spiro. And the last one here is Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Ryan Keating. All right, and the final packs here. I think uh, I think the design on those those cards is supposed to be like the nineteen fifty one. 1951 top major league all stars box loader. Mm. So I'm guessing they made like an all stars set, 1951 all stars set, like that. Uh, no, I think I've got. I'm, I'm gonna have to take a little break for dinner, but I'll, I'll be around for a little while longer. We start. We started at six. We didn't even come in until six. So. Separate the rookies out here. 
And this one's number. This is George Brett to 50. Nice. Good old Bretty. Good old George Brett. The gold looks sharp on that. Yeah, the gold really does look sharp on that. Another rookie here. Monty Harrison, Joe Adele, and we got Jesus Lazardo. Gold again to 36 out of 50. Jesus Lizard. Jesus Lizard. We got a Bryce Harper green. That's to 99. Uh, I mean, the the team, we're pretty much doing, a, we are doing an all-nighter. I'll be here as long as possible. I still have to get in back at normal time tomorrow, so I have to kind of have to, yeah, Joe will be have out to balance, than I will. balance that out a little bit. So I can log in my full eight hours. All right, and these are a bunch of rookies right there. These are just regular special ones right there. And... Actually, let's do that randomizer first, and then I'll do the recap. Let's get that out of the way first. My browser wakes up. Yeah, All right. Start to see. Computer gets slow. Yeah, so let's flip back over here. Don't worry. The sorting and shipping team will figure that out, Martin. That, that's, that's not law. That'll all be mixed up in a container anyway. All right. All right, so there's everybody right there. Top two will get a, uh, yeah, exclusive Rip Party pack. And then the third person will get any, like, non, any non uh, team cards right there. After three and a five, eight times, one. What are you talking about, Joe? I, I think I've been losing weight, no? Three, four. Are you trying to say I'm fat? <laughs> Yes, I am. And uh, eighth and final time. After eight. There were like a handful of non-team cards. That's going to go to John. Um, and then we've got Corey and Curtis with uh, those bonus packs. We're not getting those exclusive Rip Party packs until uh, next week. So uh, you're going to have to wait. But they're on its way. And it's going to take a little while for this stuff to be sorted. And of course. Anyway. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. Ooh. Thank you to Tops for yeah. having us in the. Oh, after after hours party here is the recap. Man, I almost forgot about that. I know. Oh, oh, Joe P saying he thinks I'm 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 getting buff. No, I think I think maybe it's, I'm just losing weight. So the then the muscles part. are then now being exposed because they were hiding they were hiding underneath the uh, the fat. It's the white shirt. <laughs> there you go. All right, so there are the exclusives, the relics, the patches. Mr. Oriole. No, all those, those muscles were already hiding underneath there. Just had to do a little more cardio. So thanks everyone for getting into double header number two. Only our second break of the day. Here are your autographs right here too. That's some nice. This is a nice break. Joe Adele auto was nice, not numbered, but it was that was pretty sharp. Jim Rice, old school. AJ Puck. These are uh, variations right here. Relics, relics. So a lot of fun stuff. Oh yeah, forgot about the Corey Seager at the beginning. This was like two hours ago. Started <laughs> and then a Luis Robert variation. So that was the main highlights. And there's just a, a bunch of other like numbered cards and special silver pack cards and all that sort of stuff. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.